Boom, and here we go. We got another one here from Vishnu Warrior Tournament Guidebook. Y'all already know, white right? one-liners, axioms, and mantras. Today, we have interference. Can you hear me now? Good, right? You remember that commercial from Verizon. Can you hear me now? Good, right? Yeah, interference in a way. Of course, interference. Now, tell me in chess terms, of course, for chat. Chat, hopefully you're listening. Interference. Interference. What does that mean? Interference. In chess terms, what does it mean? And then we're going to go to the tournament guidebook and, and read exactly what it says from there. All right. And you guys are going to tell me interference. What does it mean? By a blocking moves. Okay. And what else you got? What else you got? Interference. Someone unplugged the router. Okay. That's a great example. A 100% accurate example. There's something in the way, so I can't do the thing I used to do. Correct. I like it. Chronic 65 says we in here. That's right, bro. We in here, big fella. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Interference breaks the communication between the pieces. Interference is when you use a piece to disrupt your opponent's move. I think I forgot. That's pretty good to elevation, blocking a path from an opponent's threats, attacks. Another is stopping the opponent from finishing development and keeping pieces on the back rank. That is an example, but a very good example. Blocking a path from opponent's threats. That's an example as well. Good stuff, guys. You guys are all correct. You guys are all correct there, right? Interference. You're just blocking something from communicating. That's really what it is in a, in a way. You're breaking communication between things and between something or between everything. Interfer interference is a phenomenon in which two waves superpose to form the result, the resultant wave of the lower higher of the same amplitude. Wow, that was a that was a definition right there. Interference is the phenomenon in which two waves superpose to form the resultant wave of lower, higher, or the same amplitude. Bruh. Bro, can you say that in English this time? That was that that was pretty nuts. If you play interference in chess, they send you the box of two minutes or something, right? Right. So, hey, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, cool. That's a great hey interference. Great. That's that's the definition right there. This guy took school physics. No, he took physics physics. Oh, yeah, he took physics physics for real. Like, the, I mean, bro. Wow. Wow. All right. So interference, breaking communication. Today, we're looking at a game. Alexander Aliyekin is playing with the black pieces. In fact, who played white? Adolf J. Fink. A lot of times you don't even care what happens to the other player. You're just like, oh, what did they do? Right. This is kind of one of those. We have Adolf J. Fink versus Alexander Aliyekin. In 1932 in Pasadena, California. This one is actually a very short game. 14 moves. 14 moves. Sheesh, big fella. Wow. Moment of silence real quick. Mm-mm-mm. From what we about to witness on this board. Okay, let's go. Here we go. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, and then, right, a favorite of Eric Rosen. Some people you probably heard of this before. The Ponziani. A little different. Not always the best, and you know you have to know what you're doing with the black pieces to actually get some really good advantages. And after d5, queen a4 happens, right? So after queen a4, okay, what would you do in this position, chat? We're starting right now because there's only literally 10 moves left from right here. Only 10, only. So we're gonna start right here. How many moves for it to be considered a miniature? I mean, I, I guess that's a great question. Never actually had like a, oh, this is the miniature. This is how many moves. Like, there's never a definition that I've seen ever for that. Not that I've even searched either, but in a way, I mean, it is short, you know. Even I think 20, 25 move games are miniatures I've seen as well. Bishop d7, or they would label that as miniatures. Bishop d7, a queen h4 from Red Hot Mama. Queen h4, yikes. Queen h4, oh my goodness. Wow. Red Hot Mama, come on. Are you looking at the board? Are you looking at the board? I want you to think real hard about Queen H4. I want you to think real hard about Queen H4. Real hard. Just think about it. Just think about it for a second. You don't want to block with your face there. You know, this is a family channel. Okay, Bishop D4. Bishop D4? That cannot happen. That's Bishop C5. I see Bishop D4. Please don't jump. 97? You can't even. Oh, you're talking about this knight. Okay, got you. E F6, uh, Knight F6. Oh man, what the chat just all over the place today. Bishop D4, not a move. A F6, which is king, <laughs> not a move. Right, chat all over here. 97, which is not a move, but he was talking about this one though. To be honest, 
QJ9 checkmate. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a great one. How about six? Oh, man, they, they didn't lost it, you know? They didn't lost it. Let's get stretchers to addresses, please. We have them on file. Wow. 10-minute freestyle. What's up, bro? Thanks for, the, for, the, uh, for, um, well, uh, for being on the stream. That's what I mean. Hope you're doing well. I'm good, bro. D4 can be a move here. Honestly, it's very simple, guys. Just develop your piece. Knight of six. I'm defending D5, but E5 is actually hanging. And so, what does Adolf do? He's like, oh, wait a second. Hold up. Let me just take this, my guy. You're going to give me the pawn? I'm going to take the pawn. So, it's black to move, chat. Right? If you give up a pawn, a lot of times you have to rely on rapid development here. Um, because if you do this wrong, you could be losing. So, you did give up a pawn. But rapid development, what do you do? Black to move, chat. What do you do? You will push B5. Oh, my goodness. You will push B5 here? Cooked alive? Did you say your rating was 2300? Right? You said B5. I don't know what 2300 you looking at. Oh my goodness. Is he, bro, wh where? When? When are you talking about B5? When are we playing B5? I need to know. This is this is very bad. This is very, very bad. If you if it's even a thought for you to play B5, it's very bad for you right now. It's very bad. Knight takes E5. B5? B5 right now. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stare at you so hard. After I take this, I'm gonna just stare at you so hard. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. All right. That's going to be very bad. And even here, B5 will never be a move. Bishop takes, and then I got two on this now. We've lost a piece, and it's move four. Yikes. We all jump in. I might as well jump. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice, right? <laughs> he said, we all jump. We might as well jump. Here's the move. Bishop D6 hits the knight. Knight takes C6 in this position. Okay. We take back. Take back obvious here. Queen takes c6 runs into just ridiculous trouble. Like, come on. You only have your queen out. Think about that. You only have your queen out. Like, look at this. I'm going to take on e4, maybe even castle next. Like, that's no good. That didn't happen. So after b takes c5, there was e5 trying to play tricky here. Trying to play very tricky. Very simple. We just take the, the pawn. And then after d4, we back up. Easy. Easy. Queen takes c6. Bishop d7, queen a6. Okay, chat, it's on you. Black to move. There's literally how many moves left? One, two, three, four moves. Four moves left. And we haven't got to, we have not got to uh, the, um, the interference part yet. Queen takes c6 is not a move. It's not a move. Yeah, it's not a move, Jack. Big facts. Thanks for the follow. Miguel, the god of God. We have Castle from J Dub, 94 from Zeke. Queen B8, and that's for me. Queen B8 is gross. That's not a move, Phantom Master. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Castling, C5, Castle. Very good, chat. Very good. Castling is correct. You're ahead on development. Yes, I might be down a pawn, maybe even two. I don't even know the pawn count, right? But think about the, the development. The queen is the only thing out. So. It should be two. Black says, it's time for me to castle. It's time for me to castle. Time for me to castle. So is Black here? Can you stop them? Is there anything you can do? It is on you. Thanks for the follow, Spencer. Thank you. It is on you. Rookie 8 is coming, says Dante. There's only a few, mo a few moves left here, guys. This is a very short stream today, or very short analysis today. Right, because of uh, we just want to really show you the interference part, interference, and how you can use it in your own games. Rick B8 from Phantom Master Quindrick, Rick E8, Knight G4 after castling. We got Rick E8 from Greg. In fact, you guys are correct, it's Rick E8, it's very simple. In the win, in the win. And see, how do you deal with my with losing? How do you approach the mental aspect of chess? You have to actually, uh, a short-term memory loss. That's what Hikaru says. And also, um, just figure out what, what you did wrong. You know, you feel better after a loss if you figure out what went wrong. And then you can play it better. Bishop e4 and rookie 8. Yep. So rookie 8, but bishop e4 is right here. So strange. Bishop e4. 94 maybe is what you make. Rookie e8, though, is a good move. So right here, white should just castle. Get out of the way. Do not, let's, let's flip the board. Do not, right, if you are ever in this position, first off, let me send a structure to you right now in the chat. If you ever are in this position, 
right? Okay, I'm going to send you a stretcher and I'm going to tell you, you're going to block with your whole face if you don't keep you if you don't get your king out of the center of the board. You got to get your king out the center of the board. So there should be no other move I'm thinking about right now as white, but castling. Nothing else. Thanks for the 100 bits. Z, appreciate it. So castling. I need to castle. It is detrimental. It is detrimental. Castle is urgent. Correct. Queen's protecting. Bishop, you can castle. Correct. Queen's defending the bishop. But for some reason, for whatever, I don't know what was going on in this man's head. But he played. He played knight to d2. I don't know what he was thinking about here. I have no idea what he was thinking about here. At all. I'm like, knight d2? Bro, what the heck is this? I guess he was just scared. Yeah, this is gross. It's pretty gross. It is pretty gross. To play knight d2 and leave your king here right now? And you playing Alexander Aliakin? Alexander Alakai is what we say, right? Alexander Al Bro, you have lost your absolute. Man, somebody get this man. Oh, my goodness. Bruh. Boy, you, you are you crazy. You, you better get your king out the center and stop playing. I lose for a living. You learn from it and come back stronger. Right, that's right. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely gross. Check out. Maybe he was afraid of 94. I mean, look, it, it, let's flip the board. If castle, I'm not afraid of no 94. What? Bro, I'm not afraid of this. What are you even threatening? Right? That's what I'm asking. What are you threatening? <laughs> What's your next move? Okay, maybe queen h4. Okay. I can play g3 right now. Maybe even f3, which is strange. Probably something you don't want to do, honestly. Maybe knight d2 anyway. Knight d2 right now. Queen h4, g3. I mean, this is very scary still. But knight e4 is not... I would be more scared of, honestly, a bishop takes h2 or an h5 than knight e4. All right? Maybe I can even play f4. Strangely enough, now I'll block this connection. And queen h4, you're not actually attacking this. Strange. Very gross position. But at the same time, I have stopped you from doing what you wanted to do, which is a, a plus for me. Slightly. Slightly. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. But he played knight d2. Strange. Who's uh Uzi, Uzi Spencer or Uzi Spencer? Uzi Spencer, that's what it is. Uzi Spencer, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate you. That's a bunch of sound. One more time. One more time. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. Definitely for this position. After 92, that's gross. And after 92, Rook B8 was played. So Rook B8 was pretty cool. Maybe something like Rook B6. Put some pressure on the file with a smile. If queen takes a7, you are here looking absolutely crazy. Queen e7 wins on the spot, in fact. But after rook b8, a4 was played. Very strange. And actually, what rook a... And not that it's strange, right? a4 was to stop bishop b5. This is what rook b8 is about. If you do anything else, I'm going to play bishop b5. And I'm going to stop you from doing anything. Right? Uzi is shirt from my wife's name. Uzi. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. Put your king away, Adolf. Yeah. Yeah. This is what he's eyeing. That's right, Mustachiola. Aditya, what's up, bro? Thanks for the follow. Yeah, this is this is what he's eyeing. So a4 happens to stop bishop b5. Right? Okay, now literally there's only two moves left, guys. There is literally only two moves left in this game. Right? Well, and I and I say two moves, every two moves equal one for people that don't know that. Every two moves equal one, and every one move, which is like uh called a ply, which means reply in a way. But uh, ply, one ply is um, like, hey, I played a4, this is one ply. Two ply equal one move. So there's actually, you know, um, three ply left after a4. After a4, is black to move. What do you do? <laughs> Pocket at your face, it's king side 5, 4. Wow. King h5, he means knight. He means knight. Remember, n is for knight. Rook b6 from Grandmaster Slouch. Okay, Rook b6. Definitely a possibility. Bishop b5 anyway. Then Queen e7. Okay. Very, very sharp. Very, very sharp. We got an Aliakin game. That's right, Vibronics. You at the end of it here. If Bishop b5, in fact, you actually lose. And after Queen e7, I'm going to stare at you real hard after I play b6. And I'm going to just stare at you. Uncomfortably. Until you make your move. Oh, you gonna take? Oh, okay, that's cute. Oh, snap, okay. Okay. I see you, bro. 
I see you. You're garbage. Yeah, that's not a moving fella. I'm out of here. Queen D3 defending still. Sheesh. You didn't gave up a piece for nothing. Get the man off the board. Get the man off the board. Get the man off the board. So Bishop B5 doesn't work. Right? Doesn't work. But I mean, hey, kudos to you actually. Super Saiyan GM. Hold on to that thought. Be honest. How much do you practice your staring technique before big tourney? You know, I do spend an hour a day just staring at the mirror, right? Look away, stare, look away, stare, make a move on the board, write my notation down, stare, right? You got to be ready. You got to be ready to give them that stare uncomfortably when they make ridiculous moves. Play Rook B6 before Queen E2. Wait, what? Rook B6. Talking about right here and then Queen D3 now. And if Bishop B5, then we take with the pawn. Rook B5, same thing. Rook B5, I just snapped those, looking at you real crazy, staring at you. Queen E7 and B6. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. You got to start to stare as you later. Please come for it. Page G4, right? Straight eye connection. Funny. Funny. Anybody say Bishop G4? Bishop G4 looks cool, right? It looks cool. Nobody's actually said the move yet. That's crazy. No one has said it yet. No one has said it yet. Bishop B5, Bishop G4, we go F3, and I'm out, I'm out the woods. I'm out the woods for a little bit. There it is. Finally, we got it. Ice cream in space says Queen E7 first. Very nice. Very nice. Queen E7 first. Queen E7. Very, very good. Stopping the king from castling. The king wants to castle. He about to get out of here. I'm headed for the hills. I'm going on the other side of civilization to get away. Trying to castle here, and Queen E7 immediately stops it. So if you castle, which you should have, you know, you're going to lose a piece. Now he has to stay here to keep the piece. Keep the piece. It's like we weren't, yeah. Rook takes E7, jump. Queen E7, that's right. Queen E7, oh, move order thing. Yes, yeah, a move order thing. Always a move order thing, a lot of times. When you have many ways to do things, you always want to reverse move orders and see how it works, if it works one way or if it works the other way. And a lot of times you'll see, you know, it's miraculous what you come up with when you do that. After queen e7, last move here for white was knight f1. And I want to play knight to e3. Now right here, right? Now right here, this is where it goes down. This is where it goes down right here. And why is it, does it go down right here? Because this is the interference. In fact, this is the whole lesson today. The whole lesson today is right here. Okay, right here. This is this is the interference. Hi, can you hear me now? Oh, you can't. Oh, hi, can you hear me now? Good, right from the Verizon commercial here. There's interference, and we need to be able to break up the combination of things that are going on on the board. Black to move. What do you do? Jack Earn says Bishop B5. Poet from Phantom Master Clincher. Bishop B5 from Super Saiyan. Bishop B5 to interfere with the Queen defense. Bishop B5. Bishop B5. Bishop B5. And then I see a Rook B5. Scoff rook b5 is cuter and bishop is even pan. So block the queen. Bishop b5 from Christo. Rook b6. Well, let's get what it not is. Let's look what it what it isn't. Rook b5 is not the move. In fact, I just go knight e3. And I'm looking at you all crazy. Smiling. Devious. A little devious. Mischievous dot. Smile. Right. Knowing that I blocked with my whole face. You swung at me, and I decided to block with my face. But you missed. So I'm back in the game, says White here. I can just chill, bro. I'm chilling at this point with the white pieces. Rick B5, you're looking crazy, right? It doesn't work. But the move that does is Bishop B5. Great job, chat. Great job. Great job. Clap it up. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. That's right. This is interference. This is interference. Yes. Breaking it up. Breaking it up. Breaking up the whole situation, right? Can you hear me now? Oh, I got a bad connection because the communication is broken. Look at this move. Beautiful. If you take with the queen, obvious. I mean, come on now. This is a family channel. So let's move that back. So if you take with the pawn, same thing. Takes. Yikes. Queen e2 is made. Blocks the in, the interference here. Look at this. There's nothing you can do. I'm going to take on e2 with mate. If you take with the queen, I take your queen. Then I'm taking with mate. And if you take the here, then there's mate everywhere. And your queen is still hanging. Wow. A few things you can learn from this game. Number one is develop your pieces. Develop. Look at this. Let's flip the board. This is gross. This is gross. It's almost like White had no idea what he was doing. 
Like why just learn how to play. This is really bad. Yo, thanks, Chris. Thanks for the gifted, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks for gifted. Yeah, very bad. Very, very bad here. In fact, let's look from the beginning, right? Crack me up, y'all. Yeah, thanks, bro. Appreciate you, my guy. From the beginning. Right? He played Ponziani out here looking crazy. 2000 with the rhymes. Big facts. Right? Bishop d6. It's like, why let his opponent play a better version of the martial attack? That's correct. Right? The gambit happened. Okay. He's like, cool, let me take the extra pawn. But at the cost of it, look at this. I'm up in a way. For the, for the material, I'm up like three tempi. Basically like three extra moves. Think about that. Right? I got three extra moves. If White's like, no, you can go. I pass. Your turn. Okay, I pass again. Okay, I pass one more time. You can go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I just, I pass. I pass, bro. Your move. This is exactly what it looks like. Because the only thing out is the queen. It's very terrible. So this is something to learn from. Make sure you get your pieces out. Right. In fact, and time is more valuable than the material. True. Interesting. Light. Yeah, that's right. Gary, Gary Kasparov says that. Right. Um, material, what does it say? No, not material. Activity. Peace activity will always or usually will trump the uh, material that you have. So if your pieces are active, hence, peace is active, peace is out. Yes, I'm down. What's the pawn count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm only down one pawn. I thought he was down two. You only down one pawn and you got this position? This is terrible. I mean, two pawns is like, okay, I got two pawns. One pawn? Oh, yeah, you get smacked across your face here. My guy, she sideways. Get the man off the board. So this is really rough. And it's black to move here. So not only do I have, you know, I'm up like four tempi right now. This is automatically over in every way that you look at it. It's gross. So um, somebody gave the bits too. Thanks for the biddies, my guy. Zeke, what do you think of the Stafford Gambit? Uh, I think Stafford's very fun if you study your lines like Rosen does. That's why Rosen can compete with the Stafford Gambit with people very strong. GMs, IMs, right? Because he does the homework. It's all about the homework you do. And uh, even books, any chess book you read, somewhere in there, I guarantee is going to say, and blah, 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 but you should do your homework, right? You should do your homework. And it's a small little excerpt, but it's a big meaning. You should do your homework. And they, they're, they're for real. Uh, Jiminy CR, thanks for the follow, bro. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So, right, let's finish. Uh, but we already finished the game out. But again, we're going to check this again. Bishop E2, Ricky A. Knight d2, he should have just castled. And for you watching this, if you're ever in these kind of positions, get out the way. Get out the way. Like, don't sit here. Out here, this is a recipe for disaster. You about to get kicked in your whole face. You ever got you ever got kicked in the face? Like, like, have you ever got kicked in the face? Bruh. Think about that, right? This is exactly what this is like. Just waiting. All right, right here, bro. Right here. Right here. I'm waiting. Zeke's like, yeah, I got kicked in the face. Hey, man. Hope you're all right. Hope you're okay. Hope you're okay. But here, like, you're really about to get kicked in the face here, my guy. Big facts. Hey, flip it around. Rook b8. Queen e7. Knight f1. And he's done. This should be five and we live. Game over. Nasty. Interference, guys. Interference. Breaking the communication here. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Isn't it amazing how one move changes chess? That's crazy. Yeah, correct. In fact, Chris, the, Chris, Go check the last video. We just did a video called Tempo, right? Or one one tempo, one decision will change the entire game. Literally, we just did a video yesterday on that. In first grade, yikes. He still remember. He talking about first grade, I got kicked in the face. He remember that from first grade. You know, you get kicked in the face like this on the board. You're going to remember this for life, right? Don't do this to yourself, guys. Don't do this to yourself. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from today. Make sure you watch it multiple times. Any other videos in the playlist. Um, of course, subscribe if you like today's content. You can catch a lot of the videos and more of them um, as we uh, as we post them. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.